What's going on? How y'all doing? So this is really going to be about the eviction moratorium. And I think if they use common sense, they will have to extend it because there's a lot of people that are behind in their rent. Um, and the vaccines were slow to roll and some people weren't able to get back to work. There's only been three measly checks. I mean, come on now, them three measly checks. Unless you're about 16, 8 to 18 or 19 and you're staying in some family member's garage or you're paying low budget money and you're eating pizza almost every night or top ramen or something. Ain't no way in the world. Them three measly checks in a year gonna hardly offset paying bills and responsibilities. Who are we kidding? But that's the USA for you. They found a way to shortchange you even when you're going through a pandemic and a crisis, which over a year and a half took a lot of people out financially, spiritually, and all kinds of emotions. So this eviction moratorium was set to expire at the end of June. If you haven't paid your rent, they're going to come to collect for you one way or the other. And I'm sure there are people that were definitely, you know, hustling on the low, not paying. And But there are people that really went through some hard child care, you know. And if you are serious about the vaccine situation and you have a child that's under a certain age, it's not like you could take time off and not take care of what you got to do. So what you going to do? You know, it's embarrassing if the country allows people to get evicted. Because I'm going to tell you something. The worst thing that could happen is if the eviction moratorium goes and people get evicted. Do you really think people are going to get a jab then? I think they're going to jab something, but they ain't going to stick it in their arm. They're going to stick it to you and say you can take your jab and know what you can do with it because we're not going to even play ball with this. So I would think that they would want to give an extension. You can't start the year up anyway in the middle of summer. That don't even make no sense what they're trying to put down. They're trying hard to put down. Biden is not going to get no vaccine goal. A lot of these states aren't. That's why they got these old stupid rigged uh, lotteries, which they should have given back to the people. You want to give people uh, a chance to uh, get back to the economy, give them the money. More stimulus checks. Should have been two grand a month. Last year should have been closed, except for essential jobs and work. Shouldn't even been open. Because it's come to find out, without a vaccines or anything, you shouldn't even been open. They did not handle it. America was reckless, and they've been reckless with everything. So this eviction moratorium thing is just another form of martial law trying to run Russia. But when the people come back and strike back, and you're not getting these jobs filled, you're not getting those jabs, and people are scrabbling to find a place to stay, what you going to do? Don't embarrass yourself. So I say you need to extend it to the end of the year. I think until next spring, really, because you got to go through the fall and the winter. And you don't know how many more lives will be lost through COVID. But I tell you something, America has been putting egg on both sides of the, of the eyes, ears, mouth, everything. They have been egged and embarrassing themselves. And this is embarrassing, too, if you're going to have an eviction moratorium and that goes through and people put out. You're going to lose a lot more than you've lost already. And they've lost quite a bit. But anyway, give me your thoughts and takes about the eviction moratorium. Where you stand on how you feel about it. Please hit the like, subscribe. I welcome thoughts and comments. And I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another. And uh, again, I said before, you need to balance and work with people. It's making America look real embarrassing. I'm out.